Hey, it's Dr. Cherokee, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about pharmacist salaries in 2023 by field. Show me the money. There are different kinds of pharmacy, and honestly, the salary will range depending on which field you're in, the starting salary at least. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you uh, kind of where I go to for my general salary information and that you should use this tool too. It's really helpful. Um, and that is bls.gov. I mean, I'm not sponsored or anything. It's a government website. It kind of, it's called the Bureau of Labor and Statistics or something like that. But um, I'm gonna show you kind of how I go through that website, how I search for things and where I find things to see what the salary is and, and different other things on that website that are super helpful for your career uh, planning or search. So I'll go to bls.gov and on this website I'll go to the search and type in pharmacist. Then once that's done I'll click the first link and now you can see an overview of the different tabs. Here's a summary which has a higher overview of what's in each tab. But I'll, and you can see the median pay there. But I'm going to go to the actual pay tab now. And here you can see the top 10%, low 10%, and median, and they do a little differentiating by field. But that's it. But I'm also going to give you real numbers on what you can expect a starting salary to look like in each of these fields. A lot of the experience comes from myself, um, but I also have had transparent conversations with colleagues and friends, uh, pharmacy friends in other fields. So again, we saw that blanket average of the salary for pharmacists on BLS.gov. So here are some actual salaries. And again, these can these don't only base uh, differ based on field, but they can be different based on state, like in cost of living. So somebody in DC or California's salary may be super inflated compared to I don't know, other states that aren't such a high cost of living. So a grocery store pharmacist, when I was working in that field, a starting salary uh, realistically was about 110K out the gate. And this can obviously go up and it does increase, you know, you get your raises year after year, but starting was about 110K. Now that is below the average that the general pharmacist salary is. So that's just an eye opener there. Then of course you get to the grocery store pharmacy manager and they were more around the 130K range. A manager in this field would be about the same range, 130K. Could be a little more, a little less for big box retail chains and things like that. Um, but as you'll see in my next example, it's probably around the same or less. And my very, very, very first job after my community residency uh, I got hired as a floater for a big box retail chain for only 30 hours a week, which was all they were offering at the time. And the salary they offered me was around 79K. And that's very far off from the 120K that I was expecting to be making as a pharmacist. As an MTM pharmacist, Again, and I talk about this in other videos, I was lowballed with my salary and out of desperation, I accepted it. But even now in my current manager management and things, they're really fighting for me to get that increase because I was just, it was just way below market value <laughs> of what I get. So that's why I know what you should be making. But anyway, I'm not sure about all the managed care pharmacy uh, departments and the different roles, but at least for MTM, and it should be pretty much similar. We're all remote. We all work from home. We all have a task to do, but you should minimum expect about 120K starting. Maybe you could be in the high teens, but for the most part, 120K is where you would expect for that. Then I have friends in industry pharmacy, and there are other YouTube videos about, you know, what exactly industry pharmacy is, but there are different like levels to it. There are in-house industry pharmacists who can like work remote and do presentations and that kind of thing. And then there are on the field industry pharmacists and they're the ones that are driving to doctor's offices and doing all that kind of stuff. Now, from what I hear, in-house uh, industry pharmacists, you can kind of look in the low end to be about 150K. Yeah, that's low end starting salary. 
for an industry pharmacist uh, in-house. And then when you get to the uh, in, in the field, kind of the traveling kind of pharmacist and industry pharmacy, um, I know people that have had a starting of 160K and some people that have had up to 180K starting out after fellowship, just that is their salary. Now, I don't necessarily have exact figures for hospital and academia. Um, I don't know, you know, personally, but I would, I would guess that their salary is about 120K. And from the general, the more research you do as an academia pharmacist, the higher your salary can be because you get grants and things like that. So that's one thing. The other thing too is with hospital, uh, it depends on if you're a staff pharmacist or if you're a clinical pharmacist that rounds with the team and has specialized knowledge like in oncology or transplant. So that depends and that might differ between staff and that. There's also, you know, the IV specialists and things like that um, that do more sterile compounding type of pharmacy. So, you know, the 120 can go up or down depending on those. I hope that this video kind of gave you a real inside look into what you can expect as starting salaries in different fields of pharmacy in 2023. Um, and probably move forward it's be pretty much about the same but this is a good starting point to really see what it is that interests you about different fields um, to get more curious to ask more questions to people that you know in these fields to network um, and pay transparency is really something that is not pretty prevalent right now but hopefully we're getting there but thank you so much for watching this video I hope you got good value out of it if you'd like to learn more about managed care pharmacy in my MTM field of pharmacy, you can find my um, videos for managed care pharmacy playlist and look through one of those to see if there's other videos that interest you. I'll also be doing more uh, information about other fields of pharmacy that I've been in contact with or know people that have done and just try to uh, give you guys more information regarding descriptions of what they do on a daily basis. Thank you so much for watching my video. Um, and sincerely, Dr. Cherokee. Be blessed.